Hello, this is Shauna from Pretty Posh Rabbitry, and I'm trying to put together a puppy cut tutorial for everybody. So I have Adora here. This is my foundation dough, and I just love her to death. This is about two months of growth, so I'm gonna do two parts in the video. This, I'm just gonna do her body first, and then we'll move to a different rabbit to do their underside and the shaping of their head. So I have a couple products first I wanna show you. This is what I use, the Andes uh, Two Speed um, Clipper. This is very economical. You can purchase it on Amazon for about $119, I believe. I use this 10 blade. Um, this will give a good coat length of 1.5 millimeters, so she's not gonna be bald, but it'll be short enough to get a good staple if you're using the fiber um, to spin or if you're just shearing them down um, because of the heat, hi sweetie, because of the heat or just for easier maintenance. Now, since it's summertime, I shear them probably about every two months. This is about two months of growth. Um, so after that, this is just the clipper. Um, I also use a curved shear to cut in because I'm gonna cut in right here behind her ears to get a, a starting point. Um, I also use this cool lube because these clipper blades will heat up um, over time um, if you're using them consecutively and going through this thick of a dense of a coat you're gonna get some some uh, heat on your blade so you're gonna want to use the, the cool lube to cool it down so you don't burn your rabbit um, so we'll go ahead and we're gonna pause there okay, so I have my curved tips uh, scissors here these are great for peppy cuts these are um, a, a professional grade so they're pretty expensive but it is worth it to invest in and um, because the tip always points away from your rabbit so you're less likely to nick them so you're gonna start a starting point right here behind the ears is usually the thinnest um, fiber so that's going to be a good starting point for your clippers to get a bite so I'm gonna just go ahead and give her a little trim right here behind the ears so that we can get in there with the clippers. And that should be plenty, and it's not beautiful, but I'm gonna go over it with the clippers. Okay, now Adora, is a, a, she's a really good girl. She has a good body type. Good body types are a lot easier to shave because you, they're a lot rounder and the clipper can glide over a lot smoother. We always wanna strive for good body type anyway, but in the case that you have a pet rabbit and they don't have the best body type, when you hit the, the hips and the, um, the pelvis bone in the back, you, you, may, you may hit a, hit a dip. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right behind her ears. Come here, girl. She's gonna move around. Okay, I'm gonna move her this way. Come here, girl. She wants to move around. Come here, girl. Now I just go straight back. You wanna keep your clippers as flush to the rabbit as possible to get an even clip. And you're gonna you're gonna go to the back and then you're gonna go down. Because to really get down to the skin, you have to um, go down. If you just go like this, see how I just glide over and doesn't go through? So you have to kind of go a little bit at an angle to get a smooth, a smooth cut and go all the way through. Now when I get down here where she has a little bit of skin folds, I'm gonna pull that up so I don't hit her skin and nick her. And if it doesn't, the first swipe isn't completely even, that's fine. You can go back over it and even it out. But see, she has a round hip, so the clippers glide a lot easier over round surfaces. Okay, we're gonna pause and clean up this hair. hair just so it's not floating everywhere. My wonderful husband, he put me in a central vac um, for the rabbitry and my dog grooming. 
but I didn't want to leave it turned on while we were shooting because then you wouldn't be able to hear me. So you can see that when it doesn't completely get a good bite, um, there, there will be an uneven clip and all you have to do is go back over it. If you have a good, a good clipper and a, and a sharp blade, it should go through no problem. Now for the puppy cut, I do the 10 blade all the way on the body and then down, down to the bottom of the hip, I kind of just flick my clipper out because I'm kind of blending out and then I will scissor cut down here and we'll do that in part two. So for part one, we're just taking off the majority of the coat on the body. I will shave her abdomen and chest and then we will scissor and blend her legs. Now see, I'm gonna pull, her skin's loose here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it tight so I don't knicker. And we get an even cut. Good girl, Adora. And then I'm gonna flick that blade out to blend down at the bottom. And you're gonna repeat this on the other side. Now when you get down to the front shoulder, you're gonna, at this position, you're gonna go ahead and stop because when we do the underside and flip her upside down, that's when we'll do her chest. So, and usually down here at the base of the tail, it's super dense. So you may need to hold it up a tad to get the clippers to go through it and then you go back over it and go all the way down to the skin. And see, it's a little choppy, but you can always go back over it and make it even. When you go over a hair shaft in two different directions, then you can even it out a lot better. She's gonna turn around for us. You can even it out a lot better. So if I were just to go one direction and see how that's uneven there and left it like that, it would be choppy. It would, she would eventually grow out. But if I go back over it in the other direction or even this way, it'll even it out. So I'm gonna go back over her hip. And she's a good girl. She's been sheared many, many times. She has a really dense coat. She's a fawn. You can see some of her coat growing back at different stages. Some is a little bit darker right here. And so same thing on this side. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go down. And I'm going to pull her skin tight. Okay, we're gonna pause and clean up. A little bit dirty, so all I have here is a old toothbrush and I'm going to clean out some of the super small fiber that may be sucking, sticking, sticking, sticking in your blade. And um, that can make it heat up and also um, gonna get not, you're not gonna get a good clean of a, of a cut. Okay, so now that it's open and I've cleaned it out, I'm gonna take my cool lube And then you always wanna put your blade on with your clippers on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that lubrication, brush that all in. And you don't want this lube on your rabbit, so I usually just wipe it on my, <laughs> on my scrub, or you can use a paper towel. I don't have one right here, so I'm gonna use this. Okay, so now we're gonna go back over to Adora. You can see she's a little uneven here, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna even that out. Now normally with my rabbits, I don't want to stress them, so I usually do this in a two-day process. So this would be the first first day. You know, this would be the first process would be doing just their body and then um, the next, you know, giving them a break and then the next day doing their underside and um, legs and face. I do also think that it gives them a little bit more time to acclimate to not having the coat on 
Now, now have you these, her coat's not that long, so she doesn't really need a lot of acclimation time. And it's pretty warm here in California because it's summertime, and that is why I do shear them. They are in air condition in my shed, but I do let them outside, all of them, every day for playtime. And um, so it is, you know, even in the morning, it's, it's not the coolest. They come inside when it hits over about 78 degrees. 77. So same thing, I'm going down. Good girl. Now I'm gonna go up to her chest. I go right behind her ears. She doesn't wanna, she wants to turn around. Okay, turn around. Okay, we'll do this side. So I'm gonna go and clean this up. Now her pin bones is, is what sticks out this right here, but she's very round. Um, and so you may have to pull the hair up to get it a little bit more even there. Okay, and we're gonna stop here and I'll finish up, but this is what you would finish with in step one, is you would have her whole body sheared down to you know the bottom of the belly and you're going to be flipping your clipper out to blend the bottom, um, part of their hair because this is going to be longer in the puppy cut. We still are going to shape it and cut it, but um, to not give them that sheared naked crazy look, I like to do mine in puppy cuts.